So you decided to question the viral theory, germ theory, everything quite a few years ago now, right? Mid 2000, teens, 2015, something like that. And so where did that deep dive take you? Well, I already was suspicious about the ways in which we were approaching the idea of disease, because if everything comes down to diagnosing the disease, and then you understand the treatment afterwards, I thought that was very inverted because the way in which we're meant to find out answers is really through the question process or the inquiry process and the self-reflective process as well. Because if we are just reacting to the things that we think we're feeling, so say symptoms, then we are operating from a superficial aspect. And that can get us in a lot of trouble because we think, oh, I have X, Y, Z imbalance. I'm noticing symptoms. I don't know what they are. I'm going to go off and leave and go <laughs> to a doctor and because they're the expert and I'm going to have them tell me what to do. So the issue here is that you have not taken the next level of inquiry, whether from a practitioner to come and ask those questions or just by saying, wait a second. So I'm experiencing a handful of things. I'm going to write them down. Here's what I'm experiencing. I think this is when it started. Yeah, true. I haven't really been taking care of myself lately and my sleep is off and, or whatever those things are. And then go, I wonder if there's something I can do right now in my lifestyle that can change this. And it would take only that next layer of plumbing the depth of the situation for that person to feel empowered to go, oh, actually, I'm not just a victim of circumstance. I have created something. Therefore, it is in my wheelhouse to find some answers, even if you don't come to full solution. And you need help from another, like the internet, <laughs> like the computer you have in your pocket where you can perhaps ask someone or do some searches, you at least would know or have a hint of what it might have been, or what might have changed that you can at least refresh your mind. So if you go to retell the story or to talk to a practitioner, you kind of know, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was, you know, it started with food poisoning or it started with this stressor, or I had this emotional experience that happened that upset me. And then I've been run down or feeling run down ever since then. And now I have a sore throat. Okay. This sort of thing. So that's really important because the marketing that's happened with big medicine and the takeover of, and the capture of our industries and also the knowledge and who gets to produce the knowledge gone to such an edge where if you naively walk into those institutions, you may not come out again. Ooh.